Go ahead, start with some marching. Four, three, two, one. Stand up tall. Now we need to jump the jacks. Four, three, two, one. Right here, right here. Whatever works best. Going into hamstring curls. Four, three, two, one. Take it easy until we feel more back. Going back and coming back. Four, three, two, one. And going back to marching. Four, three, two, one. Give me a little more here. Four, three, two, relax. Here your shoulder. Think about your posture, even while you're standing here. Nice and tall, shoulders are relaxed, down and back. Ease yourself. Now, nose over shoulder. One more each side. Good. Now, draw the your shoulders forward. Make sure your spine stays in neutral as we do shoulder work here. Good. Big circles. It's easy to arch our back while we're doing this. Make sure your glutes are tight, your ribs are drawn together. Good. Roll your shoulders back. Now back step. Pinkies first here. Big of circles as your shoulders will allow. Give me one more each side. Good. Okay. Let's work on that posture a little bit. Bring your hands straight out. Like two fingers. Thumbs pointing behind. Big circles behind your back. Again. Pay attention to your posture, that spine. Nice and long and tall. I recognize most of you out there, right? It's going to see. Um, I teach it live forever. I'm just going to say that. I teach it in live forever. Good, relax. Then more of our hips next. Your shoulders over your hips. Core is strong, bring your knee up and out. Good, now bring it up and in. This feels good. We came back from Georgia yesterday. It's an eight hour car ride. With my hip replacements, can be uncomfortable sometimes. Swing it up for the time. Feels good and better moving again. Step it in. My balance is off. Good. Okay, let's do some body weight squats. Shoulders down and back. Core is strong. Feet are about hip width apart. 
Drop your tailbone down and up. We're going to keep your chest as tall as you can. Let's do a few more. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring your feet out wider. Then pinch forward, feel a nice stretch. Drop your hips down and up. Bending your knees and straightening. Side 
lunges after this. Four, three, two, good. I'm going to put my weights down for these. Up to you. Hips come back. Weight stays in your heels. One leg is straight, the other one is bent. If that bothers your knees, you try a side squat. Okay? I just threw you all off by doing that, I know. But it tends to be a little bit easier on your knees. After this, we have shoulder press. Two and one. Good. Grab those weights. Engage your core before you bring them up. Now, if this version works better for you, you can do this too. Otherwise, I'll stay with the position. After this, you have a deadlift. I hope right about now you're feeling this in a good way, but if your weights are heavy enough, it should be getting a little challenging right now. Good. Okay, before we go to the deadlifts, shoulder blades are back, belly is in, keep those shoulder blades together. Okay, I'm not interested in you reaching your toes by rounding your shoulders. Hips come way back. Then you squeeze up. After this, we have front raises. Good work. Stay with me. It's all about the hips, not the knees. Good. Alternating front raises. Soft knees, shoulder blades together. Slow on the way down. Strong core. You should feel this in your core a little bit. Try to keep your torso locked and stable. Not rotating, not pushing those hips forward. Okay. You guys look great. Stay with me. Single leg deadlifts. We'll do one full set on one side, one full set on the other. Some days either more challenging than others. You want to try to keep your hips as flat as you can. Arms, you can do a yoga arm. You can do an airplane. I like to put my hands on my hips. Good, other side. Strong core. Nice and slow, please. Then we have reverse fries. Let's see if you hear fries. Then you have a quick drink and start over again. Almost there. Good. Grab those weights. Right here. So shoulder blades are back. Belly is in. Working the rear deltoid. Those back muscles. The more horizontal you are, the more this is going to work your back. 
Okay, stagger your feet. Take some pressure off your lower back. You can stagger your feet. Definitely have soft knees here. Almost there. I need five, four, three, two, and relax. Grab a break. And we're starting to get if at this point. You feel like you can use a heavier weight? Great time to go grab some. If you feel like you have trouble keeping the core and you grab lighter weights, great time to go grab some. Okay? Okay, are we ready? Keep going, everybody. Squats to start. Ready to go? A little bit? A lot? Let's go, guys. You can still do these with body weight if that gives you the best form. You have the option to make two things like I was here, or you can come up on your shoulders if that works better for you. I just want your chest up tall, sitting back into your heels, and watch those knees. Okay, I don't want to see this, I exaggerate a little bit, but really, your knees need to track straight out over your toes. Good biceps. Stand tall. People have a tendency to come in here. I want to here. I'm going to offer an optional burnout with these. Alternating quickly. If you can do it with good form, you're right here with me. You want to stay with the slower version? Feel free to do that. Three, two, one, go. Well, lunges. Squats are an option here. I always want your muscles challenged, but your joints safe. Stay as tall as you can. Try to keep your shoulders over your hips. Good, triceps. Strong core. Whether you're doing kickbacks or overhead, your belly is strong, elbows are close, and you're straightening out all the way. Rather than doing the burnout, short pulses. Squeeze them tight. Three, two, and one. Good. Side lunges. Good. Nice stretch. On that straight leg. Try to keep all four corners of your feet down. Get that ankle mobility. And come all the way up to straight in between. So I want to wait for the We were listening to Sirius at that because you can't get radio stations. They played this song probably 18 times. <laughs> and the two trips down to that. Okay. Shoulder press next. Strong core. I 
I'm not going to do anything fast with these. Shoulders can be tender. I don't want to mess with that. So stay right here with me. If you need a break, you can bring it down lower and do one at a time. Okay. Otherwise, stay with those little close arms. Death lifts. On the way down, all I want you to think about is that upper back. Then you can think about your hamstrings and your glutes. But on the way down, shoulder blades flat on your back. Knees are soft. They're not completely straight here, but they don't bend to get those weights out like doing squats. Front raises after this. Good. Good posture before you start. I know I say that over and over and over again, but you guys need to hear it over and over and over again. Trust me. Okay? You rock. That shoulder's going to kind of start coming forward as you get more of the feet. I hope that when you're walking through the grocery store, you think posture. And hear it in my voice, that would make me perfectly happy. Or driving. Driving is an easy time to find yourself hunched over. Think about drawing your shoulder blades back to the seat. Good. Single leg deadlifts. Sometimes it's the way we have our car seat set up that we have to reach to get there. Pay attention to that because a lot of us spend a lot of time in our car. In my head, when she hits that high note, so do I. <laughs> Other side. This we have rare flies and quick break and we're down the back. Okay, grab those weights. Shoulder blades together, knees are soft. Hips come back here just like you were doing a deadlift. Okay, so they're back behind my knees. You can stagger your feet if you start to feel some in your back. Okay, optional. You can bring them up and pulse. Think about this coming from your shoulder blades. Four, three, two. And relax. So I grab a drink. We will start off with a chest press, so have your weights handy. That's the only one we're going to need your weights for. Okay, so we're going to start off with our lower back on the ground. Shoulders nice and wide. We're going to push the weights up to the ceiling, okay?
almost there. Three, two, one. Good. Single leg movement. Now you can move both on the ground if you want to. Good. You can and I will normally get it up in the air or cross up.
this, we have leg lowers. Then we have sort of a reverse crunch. It should let our neck out there. Good. So relax your head and neck. Bring your feet up to the ceiling. Two options. You can do one at a time. Just like we have those marches over the long legs. Or you can do both. Same thing now. Only bring it down to the point. Then you can still keep your back up. Relax for a second, and we're going to keep the feet back up. And you're going to push it towards the ceiling. Just a little bit of a hitch. Just feel this in your upper abs. Stay with it. Good. Arms and legs wide, alternating. Side to side toe touches. After this, we have the side plank and leg lift on each side. And we're going to finish with a set of crunches. Okay, so for this side plank, I'll go to knees, fine. I'll go in one leg. On both feet, stack. It's up to you. Whatever works for you. If side plank doesn't work for you because of arm or shoulder issues, bicycle is a good option. Those leg curls are just also. Okay? And that's what we're working right here, right in here. Move your fingers. Four, three, two, one. Come on down. Lengthen that top leg. Turn the toe down. Bring that leg up. I want you feeling this in your side right here. It is probably easier for you guys to roll to get to the other side. I'm going to flip. So you don't have to look at my butt. That's all it is. Good. Other side. However, you can get to the rest. Starting off that side plank. Or bicycles. Keep breathing. Almost there. Three, two. One, good. Come on down. Turn that toe in. Lifting from the side of your glutes, side of your hip. And more 
five seconds and we roll over for crunches. Over. Feet on the ground. Knees bend. Traditional crunches. Think about what we're doing here. Try not to pull on your head. Keep a little bit of space between your chin and your chest. Use your core to drive your belly button down to the mat. Okay, next, I'm going to take this to the side. I'm going to take my right elbow across. Just staying with one side here. Working the obliques and the right wrist along the same. And make sure we're pulling on that head. It helps if you just use your fingertips and you keep your elbows wide. You know what's coming next, right? We got to do the other side. But rest your neck for a second. Take the time. Then other side. If you need to take a short break in the middle to give your head a rest, feel free to do that. Stay with me. Good, rest for a second. You're going to bring your fingertips out and you're going to try to touch your toes side to side. Shoulder blades off the ground if you can. If you need to, you can put the fingertips on your head. Take the right of your neck, ease in. And come back up. Three, two, one. Bring your head down. Either with straight legs or bent knees. Airplane arms. You're going to bring those legs side to side. Nice and slow control here. One more set of crunches after this, and we're done. Okay, we're going to put the side crunches together with the middle. So we're going to the side. Middle, other side, middle. Okay, this is it, guys. <clears throat> Fifteen more seconds. Keep that back down. And you are done. Point your fingertips all the way to one side. Point your toes all the way to the other. Make yourself as long as you can move. So you should feel that core like it back out. And 
Bring your knees to the chest. Feel your lower back relax. Take your left leg up, front leg down. Straighten both out, and you have that bottom leg bent. Whatever helps you do that now. Swing this top leg toward you. Cross the left leg below the right knee. Reach through the back of that leg. And pull it in. Now sit here for this. Good, bring your arms all the way up. Hands down the heart center. And your knees on the head. 